Today, on Every Burger in Vegas, we're eating at Bizarre Meat. Bazaar Meats by Jose Andres was named one of the best restaurants in Nevada. It's so hyped up. One of the only restaurants that's serving Kobe beef in all of America. We're gonna go in and we're gonna try some things. And by things, I mean specifically the burger because this is every burger in Vegas and you know what we do here. We eat every burger in Vegas. And if you don't know, now you know. So let's go inside, let's have a burger at Jose Andres. Hey, uh, reservation we had for two for Alex Berman. This award means that they can serve official Kobe beef. This is one of the few restaurants in the world that actually can serve Kobe. Uh, most restaurants, when they say that they serve Kobe beef, it's actually lower grade or it's Wagyu, but only restaurants with this golden award have that high quality beef. Jose Andres is a meat god. And hopefully, through the taste of this burger, I will meet God. Great. Great, thank you. Just walking in, it felt like we were going through a meat bazaar. Just levels and levels and layers and layers in this restaurant. Just keeps going back, further and further back and I'm just getting more and more hyped the further back that we go. Let's take a look at the menu. Hey, how's it going? Really good, how are you? I'm doing great, thank you. Amazing. All right, let's get the, um, the classic tartare. Classic tartare for now. And then uh, two ounces of the Kobe eye rib. And then I think that'll be good enough to start. Burger secured. Here's your mission for the week. The coolest guy in Vegas YouTube is Pompsy. He's got the best glasses, doesn't he? We love Pompsy over here, and it'd be so cool to eat a burger with Pompsy, but only you can make it happen. Here's how. Go on over to Pompsy's YouTube channel, find his most recent video, and leave a comment that says, hey, when are you gonna eat a burger with every burger? And if enough people do that, then maybe next time you're watching, it'll be me, Pompsy, filmed by Terrence, and the burger, will be on me. And Pompsy, if you're watching this, anything you want, bro. Off the menu, on the menu, all on every burger, all right? Let's make this happen. So go on over to Pompsy's channel, leave that comment, and when you come back, we'll be having some raw burgers from Bizarre Meats by Jose Andres. This burger's finally gonna be rare enough for us. Raw, 100% raw. What a world we're living in, where the steaks have to be ordered an hour in advance and they rest on the grill for 45 minutes before cooking. And where the burgers are served raw. Kobe's capers, shallots, parsley, and chives. And I'm gonna mix and prepare here for you. We're gonna emulsify that egg into the mustard. We have some olive oil, Worcestershire sauce, and Tabasco. Mm -hmm. Great. The raw burger from Bizarre Meats. And this might be the first restaurant where we assemble our own burger. We'll get a nice heaping spoonful of that tartare. Beef tartare, Jose Andres, Bizarre Meats, every burger in Vegas. Let's try it out. Mm. Wow, the meat is so high quality. You can taste every layer of it because it's raw. You've got the egg yolk in there, a lot of vinegar, a lot of sourness, a little bit of spice, but mainly it's that raw meaty flavor. It's very clean. It's got good chew. Of course it's raw, so it's cold. Let me make one more. And then in order to truly give a review, you know what we have to do. Let's tear this baby apart. We'll start with the top bun. Fresh baked, buttery slider bun that has just been kissed by sea salt. You've got some of that tartar sauce has come up on the top, and it's really good. Then we have the burger itself, the tartar. Let's give that a try. Mm. 
wonderfully rich. The closest thing I can compare it to is not a steak, but it is actually like a tuna salad or um, a tuna sushi is the closest thing that I can compare it to. It looks like tuna, it tastes like tuna. Now let's try the bottom bun. Okay, the way we calculate our ratings on every burger in Vegas is on a would I rather eat this or this scale. Shake Shack, for instance, is a six. Holstein's and also Bardot are both tens. So would I rather eat that delicious 10 out of 10 from Bardot or this beef tartare? Bardot, okay, the nines. Would I rather eat that burger from Bavette's or maybe Delmonico's or this one? Delmonico's, I think. Let's skip the eights for now, let's go to the sevens. Would I rather eat Carson Grills or this? I like Carson Grill. I'm gonna seem so underclass, it's cold meat in a little frickin' bread. As a burger, it's a four out of 10, easy. Don't get me wrong, it's high quality meat, it's delicious, but a cold raw burger? Come on, imagine you're served that anywhere else in the world, that'd be a zero. But Jose Andres pulls it off with style. I'm just saying on the burger scale, that's where it sits. What do you think, Terrence? I agree with the rating on the burger scale, four out of 10. You hit the nail right on the head. It's like a, a sushi. You can't rate sushi as a burger. You might not get a good score, so I understand. Maybe I'm not classy, I don't know. I like my meat cooked. I don't think we're raw meat guys, but there's one more meat coming, straight from Japan, that is, in theory, going to be cooked. Once in a lifetime, Kobe beef, $65 per ounce. We got two ounces of it. Let's see how that is. We're full maniacs. This is gross. Who would eat this, dude? <laughs> look at it. Does that look good to you? Ugh. So we set it up like we are in Japan with our Kobe. We have our bonsai tree, real authentic Japanese bonsai. We're about to eat this much meat each. Look at that. Wow. This is a Kobe eye of the rib coming out of the That little cube is Kobe fat. Bless it on the hot stone. The fat is on the meat. Fresh, cooked, Kobe beef, straight from Japan. Let's try it out. Mm. The fat melts in your mouth, and then the meat is coated with just that little bit of soy sauce, and that salt sits right on the back of your tongue. You're teleported to another dimension of flavor. Just one more. Savory, meaty, Delicious, pure umami perfection. Terrence, you gotta try this. This looks so good. <laughs> Here we go. Salud. Oh my god. Oh my god. That fat melts away all the troubles, all the stresses of my entire life with that one bite of delicious Kobe. Unbelievable. Let's go with one more bite. Here we go. Mm. Flavor explosion. Probably the best bite I've literally ever had. Thank you so much, Alex. This is a dream come true of flavor. So good. <laughs> and now for final thoughts. Is it worth it for the experience? Yes, Kobe beef, mostly. Is it worth it for the beef tartare? No. So for the burger, this is gonna have to be a not recommend, but I still recommend you check out Bizarre Meat by Jose Andres and try that delicious Kobe beef. Thanks for watching the video. Be sure to smash that like button to encourage this type of content on YouTube. Subscribe because we are eating every burger in Las Vegas. This was an expensive episode, so make sure you grab some merch to help support it. Jump on that Patreon, and we can keep making these videos every single week, trying every burger in Las Vegas. 
complete that mission. Let's talk to Pompsy. Let's get this going. And I will talk to you soon. For every burger in Vegas, I'm Alex Berman. Have a burger. And now for the price. For that beef tartare, we're looking at 32 bucks, that raw burger. Then the two ounces of Kobe beef, it's 130. So after taxes, we're looking at 175.57. I'll give a $35 tip. So all in, we're looking at 210.57 for two people. And we're not full, so normally you'd have to order more. Just, just keep that in mind. Was this our most expensive every burger episode? Terrence, we got to get out of here. I'm going to need some ice cream after that Kobe beef to just wash that taste out of my mouth. Mm. That was better. I was expecting the raw beef to be warm for some reason. <laughs> I don't know why. I was expecting exactly what we got and I still didn't like it. That, that was gross. This was our most expensive, not recommend by far. <laughs> by far. And I would love to do more for you soon. Subscribe to our other channel, Best Meals on Earth, to watch us eat the best meals on Earth. It's all positivity over there. We gotta go. <laughs> Everyone gets so hyped about Wagyu beef. I honestly thought, a little too fatty for my taste. Just give me a good old New York strip steak. Lean cut of meat. That's all I need, bro. That was too well marbled. I don't think I could have eaten more than two bites. And honestly, I really didn't even want to eat that one bite. I tasted it. It reminded me of beef tongue. I don't know. Kobe beef. Overhyped? Yes. No one's ever said that before. Gross. <laughs> Next week on Every Burger in Vegas. They sat us a little too close to the chef. I don't think they know what kind of channel this is.